as many uh, experience I got, but I'll uh, tell you about it was in 1989. You know. There's a after we set up the DK, uh, DAB, Democratic Alliance of Burma, in at, at the border area, the military, uh, the Burmese military attack that position. And in 89 January, you know, they trying to uh, reach very closely to our military base. And then in eight, on the 18th, uh, the Burns military trying to get the upper hand, trying to get claim, climb the mountain, because there's a cliff in front of our camp, so military camp. And then they, they got that position and start firing. They didn't see us. The only fire was the big and more heavy weapons. So if you are unlucky and then you can hit by the air. But they didn't see you, you know. So people evacuate from that area. Well, I was left with a few soldiers, you know, in that uh, area. The Burmese army also, they are afraid to come down closer to the river bank because there's a river. Uh, it was demar demarcation for the two countries. So people uh, or the soldiers, you know, uh, they retreat from that position. When I noticed, I looked, there are 21 soldiers with me who didn't know the way how to run from that position. So I said, stay with me. Uh, because there's a lot of small arms and ammunition left behind. And I just encouraged them, and okay, it will be the last, I mean, defense for us. If we shoot all these things, and then if the Burmese military didn't you know, retreat from this area, we have to find our own way. And then they listen to me because they don't know how to go away from that area. <coughs> we were there for two days and one night. I tried to communicate with my friends from those who uh, retreat from that area to come in, uh, touch us or to bring some arms uh, that are with us at the river bank. And I, at the time, my family also, they, you know, evacuate or run away from that area. So I tried to contact my friend, but some of the uh, ICOM or we can say uh, communication, wireless telephone or wireless radio, radio they, they switch off because it's very close to the enemy and then they are afraid to, to talk or contact with me because it can, you know, easily uh, find out, you know, just oh, yes. So I cannot contact them, but fortunately one uh, friend, you know, can you know, they answer my call and then trying to go and pick me up on the 20th, very early morning because if you come in the daylight and then because the the Burmese army were on the top of the hill on the cliff and then they can shoot you or fire you at any time. So very early in the morning, you know, I think that at that moment it made me a very uh, what should I say? Happy, you know, to to to, to be <laughs> uh, picked up by my friends, you know, at the time, you know, because there's no way for us, you know, to to going out in the daytime. We're afraid of ties also. If we bring back our arms, and then they can arrest us. And then in the daytime, if we can, if we move inside that area, the Burmese army can shoot it very easily. But you know, in this position, you, know, you don't know how to decide, you know, whether I'll start shooting to the enemy or whether I should run. No, it's very difficult, you know. Fighting, you know, face to face is not a problem. There really? Is a, yeah. <laughs> because you know that, you know, you're firing someone and then they are firing at you or shooting at you. So if you uh, are hit, if you're not dead, and then you're, there's a lot of friends to, you know, to help you. 
Have but you ever been shot? No. Have you, do you, have you ever shot anybody? No. I don't think that I shot anybody. <laughs> <laughs>